praise be to the holy name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I praise and thank our most gracious God for giving us another year just by His mercy. Not because of our strength, nor by our righteousness. We are alive today just because of His mercy. Remember that we are nothing. Even though in this pandemic situations, He never forgotten His beloved ones and protected us like an apple of eye. We might have failed in the last year at many times in fulfilling the work given by God. But God never failed to show His love for us. His mercy endureth forever. The main topic for our morning manna is a year with God before us. And for this, we are going to meditate the book of prophet Isaiah chapter 45 verses 2 and 3. I will go before thee and make the crooked places right. I will break in pieces the gates of brass, cut in sunder the bars of iron. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places. This will be true for us in this new year. Surely, the God will go before us. We may come across crooked situations and people, but the Lord will straighten them up as we follow Him. We may also confront many obstacles like gates of brass and bars of iron that threaten to halt our spiritual progress, but the Lord Himself will shatter them for us. If we see the main verse, we can see that I will give thee the treasures of darkness. The there may be dark patches in our path, but the Lord promises to give us many precious souls in that darkness as a special treasure. Secondly, He will give us hidden riches of secret places. If we see the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 6, But thou, when thou praised, enter into thy closest, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy Father which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. And and also if we see the book of Psalms, chapter 91, verse 1, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Many will read that verse and acknowledge that God is going to give them hidden riches of secret places to fulfill their material needs. But here spiritually, secret places speaks of the secret chamber of prayer and also the secret place of the Most High. They are the hidden riches for those who have a deep prayer life. If we have a good prayer life and seek for the eternal things, then definitely God will open the doors to fulfill our material needs as well. Like the people of Israel, we are in wilderness journey. But the Lord promises to go before us as how He has promised Moses in his second book of Exodus chapter 33 verse 14 that my presence shall go with thee and I will give thee rest. In the same manner, his presence is going to give us rest and His presence shall go with us till we reach our eternal rest. Here, the Lord did not say, My presence shall abide with you, but My presence shall go with you. God's presence has a go. It will make you to go forward. It will also make you an ongoing, vibrant Christian. Even if you see in the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 28, verses 19-20 in brief, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, Lo, I am with you alway. And this new year, the Lord wants to fight all our battles as for the promise given to Moses. Also, if we see the second book of Moses called Exodus chapter 14 verses 14 and 15 in brief, the Lord shall fight for you. Go forward. In this new year, the Lord wants to fight all our battles as for the given promise. On the condition when we keep going forward, we know that our future is going to be blessed because our Lord holds our future. He certainly has great plans for us. We may not know the path we have to transverse this year, but we know who goes before us and that makes all the difference. If we see the book of prophet Isaiah chapter 58 verse 11, the Lord shall guide thee continually and satisfy thy soul in drought and make fat thy bones and thou shall be a water garden and like a spring of water whose waters fail not. Dear child of God, I can strongly tell that I have a guide who never falters and when he leads, I cannot stray. For step by step, he goes before me and marks my path. He knows the way. We should be very thankful and happy to have a year with God before us. Wishing all of you a happy and prosperous new year. God bless you all. Amen.
Thank you.